Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. My name is Hazawani Nurul Aini binti Abdul Mukti and my team member Anis Atira binti Yuslizam and we are going to talk about our laundry shop pocket book for employee and employer use. This pocket book has been successfully prepared by us Hazawani Nurul Aini binti Abdul Mukti and Anis Atira binti Yuslizam under supervision of our lovely lecturer, Associate Professor IR Dr. Mimi Haryani Hasim from University Technology Malaysia and Mr. Ali Fidaus Mat Yusof, a certified industrial hygienist from Petronas. Our pocket book contains of an introduction, risk assessment, hazard at laundry shop and a control measurement on hazard. Basically, this pocket book is for anyone who needs a practical information on how to make a laundry shop a safer place to work. This pocket book will help through hazard identification such as physical, ergonomic and chemical hazard, assessment through high rate form and implementing effective control measures to minimize injury and health impact in laundry facility. In this introduction section, I will talk about our main objective, a nature in laundry shop, risk and hazard definition and also potential hazard at laundry shop. To highlight, our main objective on this pocket book are to identify major hazards that may cause injury and health impact to employees and others, and to identify possible causes that lead to hazard, and to introduce preventive measures to ensure that the risks are minimized and adequately controlled at all times. Before we proceed with the main part of this pocket book, it is better to understand about the laundry shop first. A laundry shop is the place where the actual sorting, washing, drying, and ironing of the laundry are done. The purpose of laundry service business is extremely simple. It is to provide people with a place to wash and clean laundry. Therefore, in laundry shop, the job scopes are including washing, drying, cleaning, and four numerous laundry items, removing stains from items using the appropriate procedure, and wrap the laundry items for pickup or delivery. Basically, a hazard is any source of potential damage, harm or adverse health effect on something or someone. The outcome is the harm that results from uncontrolled hazard and a risk is a combination of the probability that a particular outcome will occur and the severity of the harm involved. There are three types of potential hazard that can be found in laundry shop, namely physical, chemical and ergonomic hazard. Physical hazard is energy sources that strong enough to harm our body such as electric current, heat, noise and more. While for chemical hazard, it occurs when workers are exposed to harmful chemical in any form or could be because workers are sensitive to chemical with common solution. Lastly, ergonomic hazard are physical factors in the environment that may cause musculoskeletal injuries. Next part, we'll move on to the risk assessment using higher form. This is the most critical part where we need to identify the hazard to do the risk analysis and to introduce the risk control. And for this section, the hierarchy table will be divided into three parts, which is the table for hazard identification, risk analysis, and risk control. I will start with the hazard identification. So from this table, there are several work activities identified at the laundry shop. And there are more than three hazards identified in both categories, health and safety hazard. Sleep, trip and fall hazard fall under safety category and ergonomic, chemical, heat and biological falls under health categories. Next is risk analysis. From the analysis, all risk level only less at low and medium level. The highest value is 12 and 9, which is for sleep, trip and fall hazard, for lifting and transporting laundry, and also for washing activities. Followed by 8, which is for chemical hazard, for loading and unloading laundry activities, and heat hazard from the washing activities. For this control, each hazard has been come up with a specific control measurement to minimize the injury and health impact. And for this part, it will be explained in control measurement section but prioritized to health hazard only. There are many potential hazards that could be happen in laundry shop. Therefore, three major hazards has been identified in laundry shop which are physical, ergonomic and chemical and it all will be explained in this section. 
The first one is exposure to heat that falls under physical hazard. Worker exposure to excessive heat from working in laundry areas can lead to burn or any heat stress related illnesses due to possible causes such as faulty equipment and inadequately steam and hot water pipes which leads to overheating. For the chemical hazard, workers often being exposed to harmful chemicals which are associated with cleaning chemicals found and used in laundry processes. For example, the use of hazardous chemicals such as disinfectant, detergents and concentrated soap could lead to the burning sensation of the eyes, nose, mouth, throat and face if the chemicals spattered when pouring from larger container to smaller container. Worker exposed to cotton dust while handling the laundry may cause allergic reaction and dermatitis problem. For ergonomic hazard, the risk factor in a shop can be the static and awkward posture, also the repetitive activities, contact stress as well as manual handling. The potential health impact could be the pain such as at the back and neck pain, stiffness or numbness of leg and arm, and also musculoskeletal injuries such as muscle strain at the shoulder. The possible causes, it can be from the heavy lifting, manual transporting laundry, awkward bending such as while loading and unloading laundry from the washing or dryer and folding laundry, sorting laundry on the floor and receiving, receiving and weighing heavy laundry. In this section, we will explain about the control measurement for each hazard which are categorized using hierarchy of control including elimination, substitution, engineering control, administration control and personal protective equipment. Additionally, low cost and practicable control are also introduced in this section. For physical hazard, through elimination and substitution, we can get rid of the dangerous machine such as broken drying and washing machine and replace with new machine with safer version. Through engineering control, employers can install general ventilation and local exhaust ventilation at points of high heat production, evaporative cooling and air conditioning, and also spot cooling fans for low-cost solution. Through administrative control, we can enforce safe work practice such as train workers to identify any faulty of the equipment such as monitor surrounding temperature and humidity and to recognize of the heat stroke uh, such as workers' response to heat. For control measurement on chemical hazard, we can consider to replace the chemical used to less toxic or non-toxic chemicals. We can install general ventilation and local exhaust ventilation to reduce airborne exposure on breathing chemical. And we can ensure each container of hazardous chemical contains an appropriate warning, label, tag or mark. And we can provide ser medical services such as first aid within the work area for immediate emergency use. Lastly, the use of PPE also important to control the hazard. We should provide and ensure employee use PPE such as apron, glove, googles when employee remove the heated items or change out detergent from clearing equipment and also when employees handle hazardous detergent and chemical to clean equipment and surfaces. Last but not least, the control measurement for ergonomic hazard. For ergonomic, the control measure only cover the engineering control, administrative control and PPE. For the local solution, workers can minimize the hazard by using the cart to move the laundry, use the smaller laundry bag to limit the weight while weighing the laundry, alternate the task among workers, schedule more bright, change working position regularly, optimize the work scheduling to reduce overtime, and train employees with the proper lifting, sorting procedure, and last but not least, to use the grip glove to increase gripping. Lastly is our reference. This is our reference for our pocket book. Okay, that's all from us. Thank you.